In our busy work days, we often find that we're so focused on emails and joining meetings and focusing on Teams chat that we also don't build better connections with our team members. So whether you're a business owner, a team manager, or just a busy person, are there ways in Microsoft 365 that can help us build better connections with the people you work with? And I absolutely believe they are. And today, I'm gonna to show you seven ways that you can use Microsoft 365 today to not only become more productive in the workplace and more efficient, but also build better connections with your team members. So let's head into Microsoft 365 and find seven new ways of working that can transform the way that you work and connect with your team. Firstly, it's really important to consider praise. If you're managing a team or working with a group of people, you know how important it is to give praise to those individuals. It can help motivate them and more. And in Microsoft Teams, we can do exactly that. So inside a Microsoft Teams chat, you can open a message to one of your colleagues, head down to the message box and select the plus button. In doing so, you'll see an option here for praise. By left clicking, you'll see a praise window now appear. And all you now need to do is go and select the relevant title. Awesome, thank you, congratulations, and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and simply add a thank you to one of our team members, helping us out with some invoices on one of our projects. Select the relevant background and then send it over to Alex. And as simple as that, Alex now receives that message giving him praise, which is a great way to say thank you to Alex. And this praise has been given on a one-to-one -one basis. And sometimes it's best to praise an individual in a wider group or a team. So let's try exactly that. Let's head into one of our Microsoft Teams for Project Greenspace. This time in any of your channels, go ahead and start a post. Once again, click on the plus icon and now select praise. The same dialog now appears and you can select the relevant title you would need and once again add in your note. This time, however, you'll see that you need to select who the praise is for. You can left click in and all I need to now type in is Alex's name. You only find people within your Microsoft team to select from. Let's now go ahead and click on send. The big difference now is that praise is posted in the Microsoft team. Both me and my colleagues can also see that in the wider team. And it's a great way to recognize someone's efforts inside of a group or a team and using Microsoft Teams to do exactly that. And now we know the importance of praise, we also need to consider how often we do that because really we don't find time every week. But how about Microsoft Teams reminding us so we can then give praise to some of our colleagues? To do that, head over to the freed up menu and select Viva Insights. Inside of here, you'll see a section to send praise to colleagues, which you can easily open and send praise, but we want to also set reminders to do exactly that. So select all praises. On the right hand side, we can now set reminders every day from Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. to also send me a reminder to send praise to one of my colleagues via Microsoft Teams alert. So now you'll be reminded every day to get started and send praise to your colleagues and help them become more motivated in working in one of your teams. And let's not forget how busy you can be. You've got Teams messages, calls and notifications coming in to distract you from actually getting the real work done. But in Microsoft Teams, we can also change your availability so you can focus on that given work. To do that, we'll head over to your availability in the right-hand side and change it from available to do not disturb. At this point now, you'll no longer receive notifications, calls and messages in Microsoft Teams. Yes, you'll still receive those, but you won't be notified ensuring you can stay on track with that piece of work that you're working on. But here's a problem. If you've got a boss or a team or a PA, and they need to contact you urgently, this is certainly gonna cause a problem, right? While using this setting, you'll see options at the top to change settings for your priority contacts. You can also find this under team settings under privacy and a section called manage priority access. These individuals will get past your do not disturb. So let's go ahead and add in my colleague Nestor. If Nestor contacts me, I want the ability for him to come straight through to teams so I can work on whatever is needed. With that now done here, Nestor has priority access and can override my do not disturb. You could add as many colleagues as you'd like to override that and ensure you get those notifications. 
And staying on top of all your upcoming meetings can be quite a challenge, right? Especially if you're in a number of meetings every single day. And that's where we can have Microsoft 365 Copilot help us out. Let's open up Copilot in Microsoft Teams. And inside of the prompt box, we'll simply ask it to summarize our upcoming meetings that we've got this week and provide further information for my files and emails. This will help me get up to speed on the upcoming meetings and do some additional prep without needing to go through the meeting itself and dig out all that information, which could take me a lot of time. Let's go ahead and send this over to Copilot. And now we can see in Copilot, it's analyzed all of my personal calendar. It's picked up all of the different meetings, but importantly, we can see here, it also analyzed related emails to each of these meetings. So I can now get ahead of the meetings and understand more on them. But I'd also want to have more details on the Project Green Space meeting that I've got upcoming. It doesn't go into that much detail in what Copilot's also shared. But once again, Copilot can dig a little deeper. This time for that meeting, it's found related files, the project scope, non-disclosure agreements, and tease messages has also been sent to me. This can give me an at-a-glance review of what I need ahead of that meeting and for meetings all across the week. So that's how Copilot can help manage your diary and get up to speed with your meetings in minutes rather than hours. Before we jump into the next tip, if you're looking to improve the way that you work in Microsoft 365, become more productive and efficient, then we've got something that can certainly help you. Yes, we've got a whole range of free eBooks that we've created at Your 365 Coach. You'll find a web link below that you can go and access these immediately, and they cover a whole range of topics in Microsoft Copilot, Loop, Task Management, Teams, and more. So you can check out more tips in our range of eBooks and transform the way that you work and become more productive and efficient in the workplace. So now you've got a whole range of new skills available to you. Let's head back and find out what else Microsoft 365 can do for you. And let's not forget how many meetings need to be booked in with you every single week. And if you don't have a PA, that can take you hours every week scheduling meetings. Wouldn't it be easier by giving a link to booking a meeting with you to your colleagues so they can book it in at a time that suits them with no request to you via email. And to achieve this, we're gonna use Outlook bookings with me. The best way to get here is open up Outlook on the web and then head into your calendar icon and select go to my bookings page. In here, we can now begin to set up our own bookings area. And now we've landed on your personal bookings page, I'm gonna go ahead and create a particular meeting type for one-to-one -one meetings with my team members. I can share this link with them and they can book in a meeting at a time that suits them every single month. Let's go ahead and select create meeting type and now give it a title and also a little bit more in the description of what this meeting relates to. With that now added, we can also set this to a private meeting type. I only want people with the link to be able to book in a meeting with me. I don't want it to appear on a public booking page. I can also select advanced options and I could change some buffer time. If it's a one-to-one -one meeting, I have to need time before the one-to-one -to, -one to get all my paperwork together and also review progress for my different team members. So before the meeting, I'm gonna ensure a half an hour buffer. And after the meeting, we've got notes to type up. So again, a half an hour buffer time also after the meeting. That ensures no meetings can be scheduled either before within 30 minutes or after within 30 minutes. So stopping back to back meetings when I should be preparing for a meeting of this type. I can also set the minimum lead time and I typically would need at least one day to have a one to one meeting and a maximum lead time of 14 days. I can also send email reminders and email follow ups as well, but I'm quite happy that I don't need to have that on this meeting type. Select save and it now becomes available for us to use. To share it, click on the share meeting type button and here I could select it's only available for one booking, but that's not really correct. I'm gonna share this to my wider team. Let's go ahead and copy this link, or I could even click on email to send it via an email itself. And now logged in as Alex, we can see the experience here. Alex can book in a time that I'm available in my calendar for. It also shows the availability of when Alex is available for the meeting. By selecting next, we can now add any additional information and simply book this in to the diary. Now it's an easy way now to get my team members to book in one-to-one -one meetings with me via a single link every single month that ensures they can find the time that suits them and me and get it scheduled in seconds. 
And as you mentioned earlier, giving praise to your colleagues is really important. But also, we have a SharePoint news post that's been shared with the company around a new employee discount scheme. One of my colleagues, Alex, has really been instrumental in getting this employee discount scheme in place. And what I'd like to do is also highlight that so when people look at this news article, they'll be aware of Alex's input and also showing I've also sent in praise. Does that mean I need to do it in Microsoft Teams? Well, it certainly doesn't. At the bottom of our news page, we've got the ability to leave comments and we can tag people as well. So in this comment here, I could simply click on the app button and now search one of my colleagues. And here is Alex here. And now add a personal note thanking Alex for his efforts in getting this employee discount scheme all set up. And now our comments been posted, others can see this on the SharePoint news page and also recognize the efforts of Alex in taking to set up this new discount scheme. So a simple thanks on one of your SharePoint news pages can also act just like praise are visible to your wider team. And sometimes it's really important to share video content with your team members, but dropping a link into an email doesn't always work. How about instead we can also share video content with your team on an email so you don't have to click away, making it easier for them to digest that content. Because here is a video we created in one of the earlier tutorials, how to create video with the help of Copilot. It's a simple video explaining how to handle complaints in the workplace. I want to share it with my team members to ensure they've reviewed it and have any questions to let me know directly. So what we now need to do inside of the video, which is now inside of Microsoft Stream, click on the share button and once again click on share. Change the link type by selecting link settings and select people in your 365 coach, ensuring it's now visible to anyone in the company. Select copy link and simply head into Outlook to begin sharing this video. And if we then head into Outlook, all we now need to do is go and paste that into our email. And as we can now see, the stream video is embedded inside of that email. By clicking on the play button, it'll play in place meaning you can now share this with your colleagues with also a foreword on the email, but making sure the content is easily watchable and they can digest that straight in the email itself without linking anywhere else, saving both your time and also saving your team's time. And I know we've mentioned this capability before, scheduling messages in Microsoft Teams, but it can work really well for birthdays or anniversaries to share with your team because you often may forget them during the day and miss the opportunity. So in this scenario, it's Alex's anniversary. He's been with the company for two years and it's gonna be tomorrow. We're gonna to be out of the office visiting clients, but I wanna make sure that we notify Alex and also give my personal thanks. So let's go ahead and draft up a message that we're going to send to Alex tomorrow. With our message now drafted, including a custom sticker, let's now ensure it doesn't get sent straight away. Instead, right click the send button and now we can change this to go out tomorrow and I'm gonna go ahead and send it at 9 a.m. when Alex gets logged on to start work tomorrow. So for work anniversaries, birthdays and more, use schedule in Microsoft Teams chat to help you out. But if you didn't want to schedule your messages of one-to-one -one Teams chat, the great news is in channels, you can also do the same. From the channel post, click on the plus icon and you'll see an option to schedule message. And you can do exactly the same for a channel post to congratulate one of your colleagues on another achievement. So why not schedule messages to ensure you don't miss that idle opportunity to say thanks to one of your team members because you're out visiting clients or something came up. So there you have it, seven powerful Microsoft 365 features you can use today to become more productive and efficient. But I believe more importantly, it helps you build better connections with your team members. Remembering that something as small as giving praise can make all the difference when it comes to working with your team and to help them become more motivated to do even more fantastic work. So by using some of these features, you not only will improve your productivity, but your team's productivity as well. And I'd love to know, of all the features we've shared with you today, which one would have the highest impact to your role and your team? Why not let me know in the comments below, because I always think it's great to hear how you're gonna use some of these tips. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the like button to let me know that this content has helped you, the all important subscribe button to find more great content like this every single week. And other than that, well, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.